Hi, I'm Johnny Magic here at H-Line Convergence. Actually, this is the first time we are going to do a uh, video on actually where we do the conversion process. In the past, we've been at our R&D department and different places like that, but this is actually where we get uh, all of our H1 and H2 Hummer diesel conversions as well as the botched conversions that we probably do at least a dozen or two a year. Um, they all end up here. We got about a 30,000 square foot facility. It was built back in 1935. Um, it was an original Model T Ford uh, manufacturing facility. So it's a really cool building. All steel, concrete. Um, actually the, the floor that you see, or if you can see it, it's, it's actually a wood floor, but it's actually on top of concrete. And underneath this is about a 15 foot deep uh, basement that's about 15,000 square feet. So awesome building. It's a bomb shelter. Uh, like things were made back when people had pride in doing stuff. So we, we, we're kind of like uh, uh, excited just to be able to be in a building like this. But uh, as you can see we have of course H1 Hummer Duramax conversions. This is the LO, LMM uh, conversion. Uh, this is a uh, LMM conversion uh, with a hybrid system on it. Um, this one here is the uh, uh, I believe an LBZ conversion and we still do offer the LBZ. It's a cool motor. Uh, we love the fuel economy and the power nowadays that people have tweaked and tuned to be able to get out of these things. So it's awesome. Over here this one's going to be actually a, uh, an LML or LMM conversion. Um, and this vehicle actually has four wheel steering. My most fun vehicle I've ever driven in my life. I even try to ch chase down the company that does that four wheel steering and they don't make it anymore but I'm going to try to end up with that steering system off of there <laughs> from that customer because it's just incredible. Uh, this one here actually belongs to a friend of mine, Don. He's uh, from Louisiana and uh, he was so graciously uh, uh, to, to give me the opportunity to play with his vehicle. This guy has probably the most immaculate uh, I believe it's like a 98, 99 H1 Hummer. This thing has been pampered and I'm sure it's all been, been because of him. So uh, it's got a lot of accessories on there, a lot of rubber duck and I've, you know, I've, I've heard of rubber duck accessories throughout the year or throughout the years and never really seen any of the stuff and uh, it's very high quality. I love it, you know, so I'm hoping that uh, you know, we'll, we'll do a lot of shopping with that, that company there, but this, co this guy decided, he's like, good one, I want to do uh, the latest, greatest, best, newest of everything. So we chose to step up and go to the LML, which is like your 2013, 14 uh, style drivetrain. So we're doing that conversion for him. And that's going to be the conversion of the future, I, I assure you that. I mean, that motor is like more well refined than, you know, the, the original LB7, then they had the LOY, and then the LBZ, and then the LMM, and now they, they have the LML. So, little, little codes to be cracked, but, you know, that's nothing of the past that we can't take care of. Um, so, we're going to be uh, shooting a lot of footage on the LML conversion uh, here in the near future. And of course, the H2 Hummers, you know, get the H2 lines uh, going on. Uh, you know, in the, in the old days, we used to like, oh, we have to take the body off and take the vehicle apart and all that kind of stuff. Now we got it down to like two or three days, turn around on a diesel conversion on the H2 Hummer. No modifications to the trays and all that kind of stuff. It's just a really a bolt-in deal. Um, and uh, it makes it really quick for these customers that, uh, you know, it seems like if everybody's in a hurry to get their Hummer converted and, uh, you know, this, this just makes it very simple. Of course, here's one that's already converted, uh, LBZ Vin D, six-speed automatic. I've been driving it for the last couple of days, 27 miles to a gallon and just uh, blistering. I mean, all you see as soon as you even hit the throttle is uh, traction control. And I called the customer, I was like, man, we're going to have to pull this fuse on it. I says, this is our green line. I says, but uh, these LBZs with the tuning today that we're using from Pacific Performance Engineering or PPE.com, I says, it just lights the tires up right off of idle. He's like, oh, 
well, go ahead and pull it, you know. So <laughs> because what happens when the traction control kicks on, like we've learned in the past, is, you know, uh, it's tr the, the brakes are trying to slow you down and the vehicle's trying to go forward. So this is what they do here. I mean, this is everything. I mean, even down to, well, over here is like the cutest little Hummer I've ever seen. It's, a, it's actually a, uh, an electric golf cart that uh, has been converted to a Humvee body that they've done. And the uh, little thing is 72 volt. Uh, 20 kilowatts and it's all about going fast so <laughs> you can make it around the golf course in like five seconds but uh, so this is H-line convergence whoa this is the this is the cool side of H-line convergence and this is why that I wanted to show it off I mean this place just impresses me so much because you know if you look around all you see is old hot rods and these are not just like old hot rods them believe me I mean these are some of the fastest cars in the world built back in the 30s the 40s the 50s the 60s the 70s you know all years you know and and their need for speed um, really is kind of the same thing that we run into with the Hummer conversions. All these people are like, man, I have a Hummer. It is so capable and everything is so cool. And, you know, but, you know, it's lacking something. And of course, that's power and efficiency, you know. And if you look at these big monsters that we're looking at now, you know, these things not only are way more powerful uh, than what they were before, but they're actually more efficient than they, what they were. So, you know, H-Line wasn't the inventor of the fixing the problem. You know, it's been fixed for many, many years. They just offer the newest solution. You know, getting into the diesel drivetrains of today is like the old big blocks and the Hemis and all, you know, the Keith Blacks, all these kind of motors and stuff uh, of yesterday, you know. So, and the cool thing about the newer technology that we're applying into this is become the new hot rod of the world. You know, think about it. I mean, you could buy a Chevrolet Duramax pickup truck and put some chips and some, you know, bigger turbo and stuff. And next thing you know, you got 11 second quarter mile truck. You know, and you drove you, you drug your trailer to the racetrack, you know, with your race car. I mean, what is better than that? Johnny Magic, H-Line Convergence.